friends and welcome to my first Dark Souls 2 build video. I'll be showing off the interesting combination of Mace of the Insolent. Now, this weapon, a lot of people don't like it, a lot of people say it's really crap and don't use it. But I think there is one strategy that you can pull off with it. Now, um, that strategy is taking advantage of great resonance um, sorry resonant weapon as well as great resonant soul I guess but um, resonant weapon mostly because resonant weapon will give you a huge buff in the dark damage on each of your weapons so you can actually buff both of this both of these weapons because these weapons are both um, are both just like chimes um, they have an effect where they can use miracles or hexes so you can use the, he uh, the hex resonant weapon on each of them with each of them um, to be able to get two buffed weapons and dual wield stance and then just destroy um, the damage outcome isn't that amazing with the resonant weapon but I think this build is really cool because you can uh, you can use force or you can use great resonant soul while you're holding two maces and a lot of people don't expect it coming um, just out of nowhere a spell um, although my spell casting is really slow which can easily be fixed with the clear bluestone ring uh, I still think it's a really cool setup for a build um, I use I'm using the life ring plus two and the third dragon ring for a lot of health and ring of blades to get that extra damage on the maces I'll show you my AR um, 411 on each of them and those are my stats um, the 3030 in intelligence and faith is actually uh, just 29 in intelligence and faith and then the hood gives you one extra this hood gives you one extra in each of those stats um, so yeah, and I'm using this armor here, insolent armor, just to, just fashion souls, you know, it looks cool. Very detailed. Um, alright, so let's get into some gameplay. See who wants to fight the insolent. Now this build is, uh, it's hard to... Um, pull off using the resonant weapon sometimes because when you get summoned or when you um, I suppose it's fine when you invade people but when you get summoned it's with the dragon eye um, people sometimes have no honor and they just they just attack you straight away and don't let you buff or anything like that so that happens a lot but oh well um, However, in jewels you can you can usually do it, but I don't have many souls on me, and this these spells require souls, and I figure using the eye and then killing them will give me my souls back that I used to um, buff my weapons. So that's a neat little way to not worry about souls if you don't have many. Okay, so this guy seems pretty cool. Um. I'll just buff. He did bow, that's nice of him. I don't know, I think he's using case this. I don't know what this fight's gonna be like. I'll bow. Okay. Let's get into it, buddy. Oh wow. <laughs> Interesting. Got a little bit of lag going on. Oh, and that's one hit. Not good. Roll out of the way. Oh, that... That, um... That targeting there. I have a lot of range on him. So it does, like, about 800 on people. I mean, this guy isn't wearing best armor. But it might be, it might have good dark resistance, I think it does. 
Come on, let me finish you. There you go. I think that's good dark resistance, so... Anyone with good dark resistance, these these don't do very much damage to. Um, but they do stagger pretty decently, so it can slow down the enemy a bit. They're not, they don't have as much poise break as some of the maces in the game, but, you know, they're interesting because you can cast spells and stuff with them, so that's pretty cool. Um, there are a lot of other spells you, and hexes that you could use. You could use Darkstorm. Um, you could use a lot of stuff like that, but I think those spells are a bit slow if you don't have the clear blue stone ring, which I haven't tried out with this build yet, but I think it would actually work really well. Because these these maces don't cast very fast, so if you have the the right the right um the right ring to use with them, then they can cast a bit faster and you can get off some slower spells. Especially I mean even Great Resonance Soul is pretty slow when you cast it with these. Force is alright. Um, it's sometimes really cool to use force mid combo, so you go like this and then boom, forward. they don't see it coming. Um, I mean, they're usually rolling away in a combo, but sometimes it can catch people's rolls, it's pretty cool. Now, let's see who we get. Hopefully, not someone with the Caestus, even though that weapon's amazing, but I don't know. If you know how to stay out of its range, which is pretty easy, it's it's pretty easy to take people on with it. Okay, this guy's got a bow, and he's got a guy fa following him. I'll let him. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought he was gonna attack me. <laughs> what is he doing? I'll let him kill him. Oh wow, what are you doing? Okay, hello. Calm down. Forgot to enter dual stance. Oh, okay. So the Avalon is really scary right now. Um, everyone who uses it seems to dominate. I'm really not sure if that guy had ever played PvP before. Um, oh well. <laughs> so the the attack, that attack, it, um, I forget the word for it, but it pretty much, it follows the enemy when you're locked onto them really well. It has good tracking, I think that's the word, yeah. It tracks the enemy very well, so it's hilarious to see someone roll and then it just tracks them and hits them at the end of their roll. Um, I mean, the rage is, range on these weapons is, 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 not that great, but, you know, I think the move sets set's actually really cool. Um, it's the same move set as all maces, except you don't have the, uh, when you're dual wielding, you have the, um, the L2, I think, yeah, the L2, or the left trigger, and when you're, when you're not dual wielding, you don't have the L2, you, you cast spells. Um, but that doesn't matter because you'll, you'll want to stay in dual wielding stance anyways. It looks very cool to cast force with two weapons like that. Very cool indeed. <laughs> now I had no idea what that guy was doing. Um, yeah. Let's see. Who will we get this time? If we do get anyone. The the waiting times for Dark Souls PvP is usually really good. It impresses me. I think if I had this area in New Game Plus, it would be a lot better. Also, this build is actually... Here's the player status screen. This build is actually level 150, which I actually enjoy. Um, I enjoy level 150 PvP because I th I think the 
the amount of health you have is always a lot higher in 150 PvP. So the battles that either go for longer or if people don't invest in health, they don't go for very long because you can easily one or two shot them. And those people who don't invest in health are usually investing a lot in um, magic as well as strength and all sorts of other stuff. And it, I mean, it makes them kind of like a glass cannon, I guess you could say. But personally, I think you should just stick to pumping health and then endure uh, the the soft cap for endurance, and then whatever stats you need to create your build. Okay, who do we get? <clears throat> I found out that weapon scaling's not that great in this game, so you really don't want to scale too much, especially not with this these weapons, they have crap scaling. I have no idea what this guy is doing. My god. Am I just getting trolls today? Just trolls, trolls, trolls? That's fine, I guess. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Stunlock forever. Whoa. Wow, it's a little bit of lag here. I think I'm gonna have to be a bit. Oh, that was the wrong button. Wow, this guy is really, really nasty. Oh no, he knows how to dodge spells. Oh, that guy was good, but I had a little bit of lag, which was confusing. <laughs> Thank you. No, thank you. So, two people running the uh, Caestus there, or was he running the ring, the ore stone ring? I'm not sure. Just gonna check how long this video's gone, gone for. All right. So hopefully we get a good fight, we'll see. Now I'm running a bit low on points there, but I only need 4,000 to buff both of the weapons. Um, as so long as I have enough resonant weapon. I have three because of the hood. Um, I, didn't, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I just wear this hood for the one point in faith and intelligence. And I know the Black Hood gives you, I think, two points in Faith and Intelligence, so that's probably a better option. I just don't have it on this character. Um, that way you can drop even more points in Faith and Intelligence and throw them into Health. Or you can just have more Faith and Intelligence for more Dark Bonus, I guess. But um, I, don't see, I don't see much of a point going beyond 30-30. The, the damage... Um, I think the damage gets a bit, a bit of a diminishing return point. Oh, who will we get now? Hopefully not a trolley player. I mean, the first two players were a bit, they felt a bit trolley, but the third one looked like he, he was, he was going for it. I mean, he could dodge spells. You know, you know they play PvP when they can dodge a spell. Okay. Interesting. I can't use spells because of this guy. That's fine. Good idea. Oh, but he can use spells. Very nice. Good strategy. Oh, wow. Wow, not bad. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> These weapons aren't going to do too much damage without resonant. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, he's not going to let me use my spells.
Yeah, not at all. Let's see. That was the wrong button. I always get confused with that. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> he wins apparently, but I'm pretty sure we hit at the same time. Oh well. <clears throat> Interesting build he had there. Faith spells and a way to stop your opponent from using spells. But from that you can see that this build um, those maces heavily rely on the damage from resin weapon otherwise they they don't do very well damage at all. They're pretty horrible without it. I mean even with it they're not that great but they you know they they cast the spells with pretty powerful damage. Um, Great Resonance Souls seem to actually, actually be quite powerful. Um, hitting like 1,200 on most people with it. With the buffed weapon that is, because the buff actually increases the dark damage on the weapon, which is the modifier for the spells. So any... Um, just like the way that the... the um, blue, I forget what it's called, blue flame sword or something, um, that's a catalyst as well as a sword, so you can, if you wish to, you can crystal magic weapon that shit and then do ridiculous damage with spells. Oh, this guy's bowing, that, that means he might let me buff if I don't just hit the air like I usually do. And buff that. And oh, there's a sun spear to my face. Did I enter? No. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All over. Well, that spun sun spear wasn't very nice of him. He didn't like me buffing there. So you can see how. Uh, buffing in front of people's faces sometimes intimidates them. They get a bit scared and throw off their spells like that. Um, I guess dueling could be better if you have enough souls. But I didn't have enough souls on me at the time, nor do I right now. I don't think I have enough to buff both weapons now. Nope. Um, I'll just pop down my dragon eye anyways. Oh, I don't even have the um, resonant weapon spell, enough resonant weapon spell left. So, now I'll throw down my eye and go see if I can kill some enemies while waiting for someone to summon me. Let's roll down here. There we go. Hopefully be able to get another um, 2,000. Oh, hello, sorry. Okay. Keep that health up in case we get summoned. These weapons are pretty slow for these guys. Okay, that's enough. Uh, I might as well keep killing them until I get summoned. Come on, guys, come on out. I guess that's a valid tactic. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. No, they attack too fast. I mean, force is okay with it if you can. Yeah, you can kind of use it pretty quickly. I don't know. See if I get summoned. There we go. Walk into my... Oh, I haven't picked this up. Alright. Let's see. Why am I not getting summoned, huh? 
There we go. All right. Let's see if this guy lets me use my resonant weapon. I did record a couple clips um, before I decided to do a kind of build video on this build um, with some pretty funny kills. And they show a bit more off of how the build can be useful. Um, I'm not getting much now that, it, that I decided to do some live commentary. But I really wanted to show off the build and um, just because it's unique, um, you don't see people running it. It's different. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think... I don't think it worked. Alright. Hopefully someone will summon me soon. So, um... Yeah, these are the stats. Uh, 23 strength, 15 dex, just because you can't go into power stance without 1.5 times the requirements. Otherwise, I would just sit at the requirements, which is 15, 10, which would be great because those other points could go into health or whatever you need it to go into. Okay. Ah, great magic barrier. Hello. Let me buff. Hey, that's a twin blade. Might use great resonant soul on him. Let's see how he does against this. Oh, very good. Oh, very nice. Ah, uh, he's gonna try poison me, I think. Although, <clears throat> that's just that armor set poisoning me, isn't it? I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Bye. <laughs> Lovely. Hopefully he gives me my souls back, or enough souls to buff at least. I don't know what he was throwing there. Um, <laughs> what a funny fellow. How bizarre. And he was wearing the... The poison armor, I forget what it is, the the butterfly armor or whatever. And it doesn't didn't seem to be poisoning me very well. I don't think that just one piece of that armor is ever gonna poison the opponent. I thought he would have a poison twin blade, but he buffed it with electric, so it must have been electric I guess. <clears throat> Interesting. So you get very different people here than you get in the jewels. I, I think I like jewels better than this bridge because the, I don't know, the bridge it seems, um, seems like you'll either get people who don't PvP much, just want dragon scales, or you get people who, um, who are a really different soul level. Um, I don't know. But when you get, do get people that just want to play some proper PvP, duke it out, um, it's really fun. I mean, the, the best thing about this build is because it's unique, <clears throat> it feels so different to use than most builds. Um, and if you haven't seen the the uh, crystal weapon blue flame yet. That shit's pretty crazy. Oh crap, this guy's not gonna let me buff, is he? Nope. Nope, not at all. Fine. Wow, okay. Nope, not at all. Wow, what am I doing? <laughs> I actually tried to cast there. <clears throat> I keep forgetting it's right trigger to cast when you're dual wielding. No, oh, that didn't do that much damage without the buff. 
Very cool. Oh, and he's running. He is running. Oh, okay. He's a healer. He is a healer and a meanie with phantom damage. Very nice. Can you let me bot? Wow, okay. <clears throat> well, sometimes you get people who just... They don't want to fight properly. You know, they just want to heal and hit you as soon as you go in. It's not, it's not a fair fight, Dark Souls. Invasions? Yeah, fine. Invasions? Sure. If, if I'm a red phantom invading someone, they can heal, they can do whatever, I don't care, because I'm invading them. But everyone knows this is the PvP bridge. Everyone knows this is... I mean, I guess not everyone knows it, <laughs> but I mean, I'm putting down a dragon eye. Come on, be friendly. Show some honor, like... You just expect it to be like the first Dark Souls, but it's just not. Because in the first Dark Souls, everyone had so much honor. I can't even buff now, I used up all my souls. Um, everyone showed much, so much honor in the first Dark Souls, well as now. Um, you get some people who do, but not everyone. Okay. So this is going to be unbuffed Mace of the Insolent, no matter what. How fun. I guess you'll see how they do unbuffed. I mean, they're still, you know, usable. They just do a lot less damage, and that's it's quite a burden. Okay, well, what an interesting day we're having here. I don't know what is this guy doing. <laughs> Fine. Okay, I should bow, I guess. What are you doing, guy? Castus, alright. I see. Castus and really fast. I guess that's the idea there. Oh, he hit me. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> oh -ho. Almost got him with that. Bad tracking. Really love to get people to force. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> wow. That that is some phantom range. Bye bye. Oh you're hollow now. Well three cases users. Very interesting. I see a trend. And I got quite a lot of souls from that one, so that's good. Now I can buff. I'll go for one more. So I can see if I can get a good fight and buff with the uh the mace of insolent. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully. Okay, my resonant weapon ready. There we go. <clears throat> now that guy's build was good. That's a that's a good build, like naked, so you just you roll and your endurance regens really quickly and you can roll really far and then you use the castus. So the rolls pretty much increase your range with the castus in a way. Um Yeah. Interesting. I'm glad I'm not fighting generic shit then. Like that, that's that's fun when people mess around with stuff like that or other interesting builds instead of Santia's spear and moonlight great swords I mean there was a time where everyone was using that okay this guy may he may in fact let me buff let's see yeah cause he's buffing so it's only fair right I think this might have been a guy I fought earlier all right, come on. Oh, 
Oh, bad move. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> the attempted backstab. Cool. This guy has health. Oh, okay. I see. He didn't see that coming. See, um, that's mostly the power of this build. The, the surprise great resonance all to the face. I mean, it's pretty powerful. Also, these weapons have a really fun moveset. Don't do the best damage, but the moveset is just spectacular. Okay. Well, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. 